in a few short weeks, we went from this to this. And as you can see, a lot has changed. But what exactly has changed? Well, basically, I, did, I changed everything. I, I pretty much revamped the entire game. Um, I almost threw away every single piece of code that I wrote previously and revamped it into the, what you see now. Now, uh, I'll kind of go a brief overview of each point that I've done, but the basics are better combat. Now, combat system, I actually spent probably a week and a half on it uh, because combat is very important and it was kind of complicated. I ended up revamping the, the old player completely and I ended up making a new state machine for it and it was quite difficult. It took quite a bit of time to, uh, you know, put all the animations, get the right speed for it. I ended up putting some speeds at a very, very specific number. Like the, I think the roll, I ended up putting it at a speed of like 1.78. I ended up playing around with it until it just felt right. Uh, it's some of the animations still don't feel right. And that's just part of the process, I guess. So yeah, that's uh, the combat system. It's revamped and it feels pretty nice now. It feels pretty smooth. Uh, you can attack, do that kind of stuff. And originally I had the player moving a little bit forward when he was attacking, but I ended up making it like he still moves forward, but it's like a few pixels. Like you can't really tell, uh, but he's almost standing still. Maybe you guys can let me know what you think in the comments. Like if you think this is better or the old one is better. Uh, yeah, let me know down below what you guys think, because I spent quite a bit of time on that. Uh, and yeah, that kind of goes into my next point though, the POV. Originally I had pretty much the same POV I have now. Uh, but it was just a rotating camera around the player. And I don't think you could go up or down. I don't remember if there was zooming. Uh, but yeah, that was it. And then I ended up revamping that, obviously, as I just said. And then I ended up making the new player. But that was with kind of a free-flowing camera, similar to Elden Ring. Games like Soul Games have these free-flowing cameras. And that was kind of the vibe I was going for. Because this game is inspired by uh, games like Elden Ring. I really enjoyed Elden Ring. I keep mentioning it. As you can tell, I really enjoyed it. Uh, so yeah, I tried to essentially copy that kind of flow for the camera uh, but then it didn't really feel amazing and then also for level design it was really really tricky and hard to like make it feel good and make it like oh wow this is an amazing level so i ended up just changing it so that it was a fixed point on like over here and the players over here so you see it from a 45 degree angle almost like an isometric game uh, but then i ended up adding a zoom in and zoom out because uh, one of uh, you guys suggested and then I ended up making it so you could uh, rotate around the axis so basically we have a RuneScape camera now which honestly I don't mind it doesn't feel too bad it feels pretty smooth uh, I can fight and do combat pretty nicely and you can see the entire level like this so there's some parts of the level that were hidden before but now you can see most of the level design so the more I put into it the nicer it'll be and the advantage of this is I don't have to uh, kind of worry too much essentially about like ceilings and stuff and I can kind of have an easier time with the level design itself. And then uh, one other thing I did, which you guys probably noticed, I added two new monsters, one melee and one archer. The archer was a little, it's still a little weird. Uh, he shoots an arrow and I had this as a bug, but, a rich, but then I kind of left it as a feature. Their arrow can actually kill other skeletons. But I thought it was funny, so I just left it in. I think I'll probably just leave it in like that. Uh, it's pretty easy to fix. It's like one line of code, but I just decided to leave it because I thought it was funny. Maybe I might add like an achievement to where it's like, oh, if you get like 30 or 100 of the archer skeletons to kill the melee skeletons, then I don't know. I'll make an achievement out of it. I don't know. That could be cool. Uh, I also updated the intro scene, uploaded a new character and weapon, as you can see. Uh, I added a lot of VFX and SFX as well to the player and to the weapon stuff, to the combat system, stuff like that. I also added a new level. As you can see, this is just the entire new level. I ended up having three levels before, but I scrapped all three of them and just made one new level. I'm actually going to scrap this one again and make a new level uh, because I want two or three uh, levels total for the demo for this game, but I want them to be relatively big. So maybe like, 10 to 15 minutes of gameplay each. So that way the player or you guys actually have a bit to play with. And yeah, so that's still a work in progress. Uh, I added better lighting, as you can see. I imported 300 new props into the game. That took a really long time, probably like 10 to 12 hours. And yeah, I just imported all the assets into Godot because it just took a while. Uh, and then I added controller support. That was really cool, but really weird, uh, which 
some of you guys might enjoy. I really like playing on controller, so I kind of did it for me too. So that'll be fun. I added some projectiles, mainly the arrow. And as you can see, I added a spell cast for the player. It's kind of a, it's kind of a cool, like, how you can, I don't know. He, she shoots like a magic thing. So I think that's cool. And then lastly, this goes into my outro a little bit. I added a new GUI with uh, the health and the stamina. So I added kind of a health bar where it looks like a ball, like water in a vial. I thought that was pretty cool. It's kind of inspired by Diablo, as you can tell. Uh, but it was, it was like, yeah, it was not too tricky, but it was cool. And that kind of goes into my third thing, which is the corruption system. And I'm not going to give too much away about it, but essentially you get corrupted and this vial fills up and that'll go into my next video. So uh, hit the subscribe button down below if you guys like this video. Check out my videos, check out my channel. I do a lot of good out tutorials if you guys want to learn to make games like this. Uh, some of them are not, not as complex as this game, but uh, check it out if you want to learn. start learning. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.